Welcome back. It's your bonus day, leap year, day 29 of your February Movement Challenge. It's been such a pleasure to guide you through 15 to 20 minute challenges all month long. Thank you so much for being here. Today, we're gonna focus on doing a yoga flow with a block so that we can kind of incorporate a prop in to help our bodies um, and maybe learn something new. So let's begin by standing at the top of our mat, bringing the block in between the knees, above the knees, in between the thighs. Finding our hip bones and then pushing them back, sitting down, bending the knees, keeping our knees above our ankles, spreading our toes wide and really anchoring down. So hands coming up to heart and then just allowing our body to do its thing here in this chair pose. The only thing we're really focusing on is squeezing the knees together, kind of squeezing that block at the midline of the body and noticing how that fires up muscles on the outside of our body as well as kind of right zippering through the inside. So really go ahead, press together right and left hands, feeling your energy meeting there in between the palms, focusing there, finding your intention for your practice. Breathe in. Breathe out, maybe sinking a little bit deeper into your chair pose. Inhale, rising through center. Keep squeezing the block. Reach your hands up. Exhale, goal post your arms, squeeze the block, squeeze your glutes, press your hips forward, baby back bend. Inhale, zipper up, find center, reach the arms up. And exhale, dive forward. So we're going to bend the knees, keep squeezing the block, hands to the mat, head hanging heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, hands press against the shins. Exhale, hands to the mat. We're going to tippy toe walk our feet back. Find a high plank. So all the way back. Zipper up, squeeze the block. Inhale, shift forward. You can lower down your knees here. Exhale, chaturanga. So hug the elbows along the rib cage as you lower down. Good. Readjust the block. Squeeze it together. Take your time, readjust the block so you're comfortable. Press into the hands. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, shift your weight back to your knees. Take another moment to adjust your block so that it's comfortable if you need to. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. So keeping the knees bent here, focusing on pushing into the pads of the hands, into the thumb and the pointer finger. Really let your head hang. Take three breaths. Bending the knees. Readjust at any moment. Take one more inhale. Exhale, look forward. Bend your knees. Tippy toe, hop or walk to the top. However works for you. Find a halfway lift when you get there. Press against the shins. And then drop your hips, bend your knees, exhale, chair pose. Inhale, hands to heart center, press into your feet, squeeze the block, rise, reach up, press forward, find a baby back bend. And then exhale, make your way back through center, palms to the heart, reach down, grab your block. Okay, we're going to take it through one side at a time and do a little bit of balance along the way. So in just the right hand, holding the block palm face up in front of me, almost like I'm trying to balance the block. Lifting the right heel, bringing the right foot into tree, finding your balance, finding the balance of the block, breathing in, breathing out, releasing from your tree, stepping back into a high lunge, both hands on the block, inhale, reaching up, and as we exhale, we're going to bring the block down to the ground. So I like to grip it right in the middle so it's on the short setting as it hits the mat. But you can grip it other ways if you'd like so your right hand is planted on the block. We're opening the left arm, twisted runner's lunge. and breathing. Option here to half bind, just dropping that left hand behind you, opening the shoulder. So using the hip and the back of the hand to then open up the left shoulder. Really good, press into the back foot, lift up the hips, keep the legs energetic. One more inhale through this twist. And exhale. Slowly unbind, unwind. 
Inhaling back towards a runner's lunge, lifting up, block comes up. Hold it in your left hand, open the feet, warrior two. So the block is in the front hand. I like my thumb to be on top, but hold it how it feels good for you. Now we're gonna pass the block from the front hand to the back hand. So inhale, both arms lift, leg straightens, grip it in your right hand. Exhale, bring it down again, thumb is pointed up. One more time. Inhale through center, switch. Exhale, warrior two. When I said one more time, I meant both sides. Inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Drop the block down, pivot your feet. Coming through high lunge, breathing in, reaching both hands to the block. Exhale, bring it your chest. Bend your knee, step forward, chair pose. Inhale, rise, reach the block up, squeeze glutes. And exhale, bring it back down in front of you and into your left hand. Now we're finding tree pose on the left foot, so lifting the left heel, foot to the inner calf. And then finding the balance of the block, finding the balance of ourselves on this right side. So breathing here, nice and slow. And exhaling, bringing the knee through center, stepping back, both hands gripping the block, coming into a high crescent lunge, reaching the arms up. Big deep breath in. And bringing the block in the left hand down to the floor, finding the setting that works for you, planting your left hand, pressing into the back foot, and then inhale, open that right arm up. Find a nice twisted runner's lunge here. Keeping the legs energetic, looking up, maybe exhaling into that half bind, just dropping the back of the right hand to the low back. So kind of using that leverage to gently open the right shoulder. Now one more breath. Exhaling completely. Navel to spine. Inhale, releasing that right arm, reaching it up, reaching it back down and in towards runner's lunge, and then lifting the block with both hands. Inhale, come up, high crescent. Hold the block in the right hand as you exhale, open into your warrior two. Now we're switching hands. Inhale, coming up. Switch the block. Exhale, take it down so thumb is pointing up. Inhale, center, swap. Exhale, block in the right hand, warrior two. Inhale, back through center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, back to the front. Pivot your way to the top of the mat in both hands, reaching up, drawing it in, stepping it into our chair pose, left foot at the top of the mat, inhale, rise, reach up, and exhale, block to chest. We're gonna bring the block down to the ground on the highest setting, take our feet wide and come into a supported yogi squat. So hold the block if you need to and then sit down. So maybe both sitting bones are kind of anchored on the ed outer edges of the block. The feet are rooted. Maybe hold the knees because we're up a little bit higher. So sometimes we can get into the full posture and so this feels a little different or a little bit weird, like I can go lower. But we want to keep it open here. So if this does, if this is higher than what you're used to, use the outer edges of the arms and just press. Let it feel a little bit different. Breathe here into your spine. And breathe out. Let the block really support you. It's bringing the ground closer, making the breath come in more easily. Feeling more grounded as it leaves you. Starting to drop the hands down, pressing into the feet, shifting forward, lifting up and off the block. Heel toeing the feet together. And then go ahead and come down to the ground, come down to a seat. So we're gonna focus these last few poses on supported, kind of resting or restorative postures. And we'll begin by rolling down to our spine. 
walking the feet back and in so we're in bridge and then pressing into the feet lifting up and sliding the block at its lowest setting underneath so finding that place that feels comfortable and supported and then taking two breaths here and just feeling kind of the psoas muscles maybe feeling our internal organs like something is changing so just notice as the space opens and as you're breathing deeply into it and following that breath as it leaves really clearing out of the body stay here if this feels good and restorative or press into your feet lift up and shift the block to the next highest setting so just flip it up one to that next highest setting and readjust so that it feels good for your body and then notice even more space awareness of the front side of the body feeling the support by bringing the ground higher making sure you're still feeling your feet here take a breath nice and full and exhale press into your feet lift up slide the block all the way out from underneath of you so that you can bring your back all the way down realign the body and its natural rhythm natural alignment hug your knees into your chest and then holding on to your knees we're going to take them for circles so start by bringing them wide and apart and then back together through center the knees wide and apart through center just kind of circling through one more time this direction and then as they meet in the center go ahead switch directions so still going wide and apart but just taking it either clockwise or counterclockwise on the opposite side one more circle through amazing drop your feet down reach for that block again we're gonna lift up into our bridge with the lowest setting so slide it under and this time we're gonna lift our knees up off the mat our feet up off the mat and then slowly lift the legs into the air so finding a supported shoulder stand and then if you need to readjust you can walk the hips and hold the block just kind of anchor it into a way that feels good for your body Sometimes I even like to just hold the block to feel it there. Maybe bend the knees more. So again, do what feels good for you. Everybody's going to be a little bit different. You are free to stay here and supported by the block for a little bit longer if you'd like. Or you can one at a time start to lower the feet down, keeping the knees bent, pressing into the feet to lift up off the block, slide it out from underneath of you. And then right away, bringing the feet into the hands, coming into a happy baby and feeling our back flat on the floor now without the block. Tucking the chin down and in towards the chest, so creating bit of a double chin but a long back of the neck and feeling the same length rooting all the way down through our tailbone and allowing the upper body to relax a bit more just letting the spine do its thing and anchor in but maybe inviting the legs the feet the arms the hands to just relax a little bit more deep breath in cleansing breath out relaxing through the shoulders one more deep breath in cleansing breath out bringing the feet towards each other bringing the knees towards center dropping the feet down to the mat walking the feet out and then letting the knees fall inward for a broken bridge hands can be on the belly or down by the sides and feel free to kind of just pivot side to side pushing into one foot at a time and just kind of moving the body just kind of side to side and then landing somewhere that feels centered for you you can stay right here you can bring the soles of the feet together and open the hips instead of closing them 
or you can bring the feet long and down to your mat, taking our last posture together, Shavasana, hands coming down beside you, palms flipped up so that we're in that anatomical position, the feet coming wider, and just letting yourself take up space. Notice where your shoulders are. Can you walk them away from the ears and replant your upper back? Shimmy out your hips a little. Get all the wiggles and things out of your body. Even crack the fingers, kind of circle the wrists, the toes. And then allow your jaw to relax. Let the teeth separate. Let the tongue come away from the roof of the mouth. Let the space between your eyebrows relax. Let your jaw relax. Let your glute muscles and hips relax. Letting more muscles in the face soften. Letting the shoulders get heavier and heavier as they anchor in. Letting the breath deepen and feeling life inside of us. Blood moving, food churning through our intestines, heart beating. And really just letting our body body here in this place of rest and digest. I want to invite you to stay in Shavasana as long as it serves you. You have had an incredible month. Let yourself lay here and reflect on everything that you've done this February with this extra day built in. Keep moving forward. Don't let your pain stop you, whether it's physical or mental. Let yourself keep going and trust the process. Thank you so much for spending your month with me moving. I hope we get to do it again really soon. Again, I'm Amanda Lane. You can also hop on my website, www.liminalspaceyoga.com. You can find me on Instagram. I'll be sharing more YouTube videos in the future. And if you have any questions, send me a message. Let's connect. Take care.